Let's go! Hi everybody, today I have a collective haul video. Please do excuse the noise outside. The neighbors have a swimming pool and the kids are playing outside right now and they keep screaming spider ball and jumping into the water and I think they're starting to actually fight because I hear a little bit of screaming so sorry about that. The first place that I'm going to be hauling stuff from is a Mac. Yes, another mini Mac haul. The first thing I got is nothing new. It's a large pro palette blank. I just picked up another one of these. They're just really good for depotting or holding your Mac single. I didn't buy the insert for this one because I thought that I might put my non Mac depotted items into this one. The next product that I have is what I love to use every time I want to wear a lipstick, especially a bold lipstick like today, to stay in place, and that is the MAC Prep and Prime. A look at the beautiful shiny packaging. I really like this formula. It smells like all the other MAC lipsticks. It goes on clear. You really can't see it, but it just fills in the lines of your lips to make your lipstick go on a lot more smoothly. Some people don't like this. They say that it's drying. I don't particularly feel like it's drying. I like it and I feel like it makes my lipstick last all night long. Usually I wear a bold lipstick at night. It's not something I typically wear during the day except for filming these videos. And the last item from MAC that I picked up is my Ruby Woo lipstick and I am wearing it today. I happen to really like this. Russian red is a deeper red, so here is Russian red. Now both of these formulas are quite drying. Uh, because they're mattes. I think Ruby Woo is a little bit more drying. Here it is, and that's why I use the Prep and Prime with it. It kind of drags when you try to put it on your lips. I already knew it was going to do that because I've seen a lot of reviews on Ruby Woo before. This one is a retro matte, actually. I don't know the difference. The other matte MAC lipstick I have is Candy Yum Yum. I really like the shade of it, but I don't quite know if that shade suits my skin tone, so I don't really wear it that often. It's cute, but I'm not really sure that it suits my skin tone. It's Russian Red, Ruby Woo, and Candy Yum Yum. So I just wanted to put out there that I know that normally I buy pigmented bold lips from MAC as opposed to nude natural looking lips and I think it's because on a day to day basis I'm wearing nude natural looking lipsticks from the drugstore and when I have an event like a wedding, a birthday, going out to dinner, I tend to reach for my MAC lipsticks because I want them to pop and be bold. Also when I'm on camera, I like to wear my lipsticks that pop. I don't tend to reach for MAC for new lipsticks just because I feel like I can easily get those at the drugstore for cheaper. That's just a personal preference to each their own, obviously. Uh, the next items that I have are from Zoya. The dog barking is not Ralph, that's actually the neighbor dog. Ralph is sleeping in his room right now. He has an itchy spot on his back. I think he's allergic to the flea drops that we usually put on his back, so I'm not going to give those to him anymore. Anyway, moving on. As you can see, I was in the mood for pinks. So I picked up a whole lot of pinks. Zoe was having a buy three polishes and just pay shipping. First one that I have is Kiki and Kiki I've already called at the beginning of the year. This is actually a backup. I've been wearing this pretty much constantly since I bought it. I really love this polish. I actually have it on my nails right now. You've already seen me talk about this one. The next one that I have is Lola. Lola is kind of similar to Kiki except there's less of a sheen to it. Um, if you want to see really good swatches and comparisons of these, go to Pink So Foxy's blog. That's kind of how I picked some of these colors. Here is Kiki on the left and Lola on the right. Uh, Kiki has a little bit more of a sheen to it as you can see as I move the bottles up and down. Uh, the next one that I have is Rooney. Rooney is a lot like Jolene, but I think it's a little bit less pink. Is that a good description of it? I haven't tried this one yet. Here's Jolene on the left hand side and Rooney on the right hand side. They're very similar shades, but like I said earlier, slightly different pinks. But they both have a creamy finish. These two here I have Kittredge and Sweet. I think the one that I've already tried is Sweet. 
That one, the formula really disappointed me. It didn't really feel like a Zoya polish to me. To me, a Zoya polish is one that just glides on your nails with no bubbles, no bits where you feel like you need to go over. It goes on nice and smooth. Sweet, unfortunately, was not like that. I had all these watery patches on my nails. Maybe as this one dries out, it will perform better, but yeah, I was not impressed by it, and <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice, but I do have a headache, and I am getting a hot flash right now, so if you see me sweating, it's because um, it is that time of the month. It's supposed to come any day now. Anyway, Kidridge is this other bubblegum pink, which I hope will suit my skin tone. I've learned that not all pinks suit my skin tone. Here is Sweet on the left hand side and Kittredge on the right hand side. Very similar bubblegum pinks except Kittredge is slightly more neon. It doesn't quite come through in the picture quality but you'll have to take my word for it or search for swatches online. Next one I picked up is a mauve berry and this is in Manon. This is different from most shades that I have, but I saw it was a cool tone with an opacity of 5, so I decided to pick that one up. So I have been told that the Milani lip, I don't know what they're called, are pretty amazing, so I'm looking to try to find some of those lipsticks at the drugstore if I can find some. And then also I'm going to Europe in two and a half or three weeks. And I will probably try to find some makeup in Europe that I can't get here in the USA. Sleek, we can get online. Bourgeois, I think, is a little bit tougher, although I haven't been too impressed with their makeup line for what I've tried so far. Also, they're a little bit pricey, but if I see something exciting, I might try it. I have been wanting to try their Healthy Mix foundation. Let me know down below what I could pick up in the UK and in France. Those are the two countries that I know I'm going to be traveling to. We, we might hit Italy, uh, we might hit Spain. Not sure yet, but if you know of a makeup line I should try that I can only get in the UK, definitely let me know down below. It would be greatly appreciated if I could have some direction on what to look for at the drugstore, or are they called High Street <laughs> in the UK? I have tried some Topshop. My best friend used to go to the UK every summer when we lived in Hong Kong and she would bring me back some makeup items. Natalie, if you're watching. That was my Mac Soya haul. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye.